All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repping the life music. Make sure y'all following us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Man, this is unbelievable. Um, Wow. Bro, every time I try to put my, my phone down and do something else, more things keep coming out. So now... Uh, shout out to uh, uh, the uh, creator, uh, Cam Capone News, had have just uh, released an interview uh, with a man who claims that he witnessed um, P. Diddy hang rapper Wale over a balcony in a jealous rage over Cassie. Now, um, in this interview, this guy, uh, his name I think is Ant Glizzy. Uh, he is a rapper. And he said he claims that he was in the studio with Wale and that he said that before they went in the studio, uh, he was claiming that Wale was telling people uh, to, um, you know, keep it on, keep it quiet. Don't say nothing too much because allegedly P. Diddy gets jealous when anybody's around Cassie. Now, apparently this guy, uh, he just put out uh, basically uh uh, interview. He just did an interview where he claimed that, you know, Wale warned him before they went into the to the uh, um, recording studio, and so really, I guess at that time they weren't supposed to be in there with Cassie, and um, so Wale he said had warned him uh, and the other guys that was with them that uh, you know did he you know he get you know saying he he get away if you you around Cassie. So he said that they actually went in the studio. Uh, still with Cassie. Uh, he said, while they went in the studio with Cassie, and he said somebody gave P. Diddy the drop on where Cassie was at in the studio with Wale. And he says that um, Diddy allegedly came in with some, some guys with him and, um, you know, was enraged, I guess. And he said him and the other guys he was with went to another another room and basically looked out the window, they said, to that balcony uh, where they were at in the, in the studio with, uh, with Wale. And he claims that Diddy hung this man over the balcony. And he said all he saw was Wale's shoes and his pants. Now, Wale has denied these allegations in the past. Uh, but this guy on the screen says that it's those allegations that, that Wiley denied is a lie. He said he witnessed it, and he said that it's true. Um, and he just said this on open tape. Matter of fact, uh, the interview is up right now uh, on Cam Capone's channel. It just came out a few minutes ago. And I, I could not believe, uh, you know what I'm saying, when I heard that. But this guy has just came out and said that he witnessed Diddy hang Wale over the balcony. And he said when he went, he said after Diddy left, he said Diddy and his guys left, pulled him back up over the balcony and left. And he said after he left, he said Wale was sweating and all of his, his like his gear was kind of out of, out of place. And he said Wale tried to play it off. And he said that, uh, he said that, you know, you know, you, 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 they, Wale couldn't play it off to them because they, they saw what happened. And so, you know, when they asked him, you know, well, you know, while they denied that this happened, he says, man, look, I was there. You know what I'm saying? He said, how are you going to deny something? How is team going to deny something? I was right there. And so he just uh, gave this interview on uh, Cam Capone News to, and claims that Wale was lying, uh, you know, when he denied uh, that allegation. He said that this dude said he was there, man. Listen, man, again, man, I, bro. This stuff coming out the woodworks, man. 
this stuff coming out the woodwork. And this interview just dropped. Uh, you, you guys, I don't know if you guys are subscribed to Cam Capone. I've been subscribed to Cam Capone News for a minute. Um, he does a lot of uh, interviews on this channel. And so this interview just dropped. And I got the notification. I, I couldn't believe it. I said, what? So I read it because I heard in the past a rumor about it. But, you know, Wale denied it. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, Wale denied it. Cool. But this guy's coming out refuting Wale's claims. He's saying, nah, Wale is not telling the truth. He said, I watched it. He said, I was looking right there at the situation happen. And so, uh, you know, he asked him, well, why didn't you guys try to stop it? You know what I'm saying? He asked this guy and Glizzy, because I think this guy's from D.C. He's a D.C. He's a rapper from D.C. Uh, and he was like, man, we wasn't, he, he basically said he wasn't getting involved in that. You know what I'm saying? Which is why he wasn't stopping it. He said he wasn't going to get involved in that with, with Diddy's situation. You know what I'm saying? But he said that Diddy apparently went into a rage over Wale being in the studio with Cassie. He didn't want nobody working with Cassie like that, I guess, allegedly, according to what uh, Aunt Glizzy said. And he was just like, look, man, he said Wale even, he said Wale even warned him before they went in the studio. was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Did he be tripping, man? Like, that's what he said. And he said somebody turned around and gave P. Diddy the drop on where this boy was at or where they or where uh, Wale was at and that he was in the studio with Cassie. Somebody turned and called P. Diddy and they said he said Diddy pulled up when the studio, this dude alleges and hung him over a balcony. He said all he seen was his shoes and his jeans. You know what I'm saying? And he, I mean, the way he told it, man, he was like, man, he's trying to, like, he was convicted in what he saw. Because the interviewer, uh, Cam Capone, he was an interviewer, if I'm not mistaken. He asked him, he was like, bro, are you sure that was Wale? He said, man, what you, what you think? He said, man, I was watching it. He said, me and my other guy, we watched the whole thing. And then he asked him, he was like, well, why y'all ain't going to help the dude? He was like, man, uh, well, yeah, I ain't finna get involved in that. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? He said he ain't getting involved in that. That's what homie said. He said, I ain't getting involved in that. So that's he's I guess that's the reason why he said he didn't, you know, want no smoke with that situation. He said he wasn't getting involved with that. You know what I mean? But he said that they went back. He said they waited. Cause he said while late afterwards, uh while late didn't just come leave. He said P. Diddy didn't just leave. They stayed for a few minutes. And then I guess he said Diddy left. And then he said, Wale waited for a while, I guess, trying to get himself together. But he said by the time that they went back in the studio, he claims that Wale still been sweating. You understand what I'm saying? Um, no, nah, this video just came out today. Uh, you guys who want to know about this interview, it just came out today because he was asked by the interviewer. You guys can go look. It's on Cam Capone's channel right now. He just released this interview today. Uh, he asked him, uh, you know, was the claims true? Because he said that he asked him that he said that Wale denied it at that time. You know what I'm saying? The rumor is old, but the interview just happened. The rumor is old, but the interview just happened. And this guy in the interview saying, nah, that's a lie. He said, Wale is lying. He said, his people are lying. He said, I was there. I was right there. That's what he said in the interview. I'm not late. The interview just came out. Go to uh, Cam Capone's channel. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time I saw it. I don't be watching a whole lot of people's stuff. Uh, and it just came out on this channel right now. So, you know, you can come on my channel. Oh, this old, this old. Y'all be looking at that stuff. This interview just came out right now. And he was asking him different questions regarding the situation. So it wasn't the, the rumors. I heard the rumors in the past. Let me put that out there before. I heard the rumors and I heard Wale denied it. But he asked him about Wale's denial. And he asked him, you know, different questions trying to, I guess, counter you know what i'm saying uh and ask him other details about things that had went on you guys can go check out the interview by yourself y'all don't believe it's on cam capone channel he just dropped it what now it'd be 30 minutes ago and so he was really asking him questions about the situation he asked him again why he didn't help he asked him you know what i'm saying um a plethora of questions about the situation you know i guess follow-up questions is what you should call it is what he asked me. He asked him follow. And listen, um, you guys are going to see this. A lot of people are going to be doing interviews uh, on Puff now. 
You guys are going to see this. A lot of people, see, a lot of people, and they're going to be doing interviews on old stuff. Y'all going to be like, oh, that's old, that's old. Bro, people are going to be doing interviews on old stuff, recounting stories and stuff, man. Y'all got to y'all gotta understand that that's going to happen now. You know what I mean? That is going to happen now. People are going to try to check and verify people's stories, ask people if they lying, ask people if they capping. This is what's going on now. You know what I'm saying? But dude said he witnessed it. He said he sat right there and saw it. And he said that it wasn't no mistake and that he said that uh, Wale's people was lying uh, when they said that it didn't happen. He said he sat right there. He said when he went back in there, old boy was sweating bullets. He said he was still sweating. His shirt was messed up, all that stuff. He said he tried to play it off. He was like, but you know what I'm saying? So, again, y'all going to see this, too. Um, it's going to be a lot of the content creators that do interviews, they're going to be asking all kind of old school questions about things that you've heard as far as rumors, but people are going to be trying to get clarification and verification on a lot of this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and so I'm telling y'all the truth, man. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up being a movie about this thing, man. You know, I kind of see this thing going. To, and I also, let me go ahead and get y'all this in this video too, while I'm telling y'all. Um, it was also a former FBI agent that came out and he said also that he believes that part of this entire raid and investigation in the P. Diddy has something to do uh, with the entire uh, uh, Keefe D thing. Matter of fact, let me see if I screenshotted that because I, I, I'm not going to do that in a different video. I'm going to get y'all that now. Um, let me see if I did that. I know I didn't screenshot that. I didn't screenshot that. Yeah, I should have screenshotted that one, but I didn't, I didn't screenshot that. But yeah, so that's what... Um, Old boy said, man, it's just, I, I told you guys, man, everybody's going to start coming out now with these interviews again. And this isn't like a rerun interview. This is a new interview he's doing with this guy that he is asking him uh, new questions or follow-up questions about these situations. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, people's talking, man. You know what I mean? Now, like, like I said, uh, me personally, you know what I mean? If I had seen some or I had witnessed some. Uh, you wouldn't see me on the interview doing that. You know what I mean? It's just me being who I am. But, you know what I'm saying? They, they, this is out being put out in the public. And so, you know, we are reporters. I'm going to talk about it. What up, dog? Hey. Boy. Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm going to hit y'all back in a second, man. Somebody at my door. Hold on. Stay right here, y'all. Stay right here. I'm going, nigga. Hold on. I'm going. So, yeah. What up, boy? Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second, y'all. Y'all stay right there. All right. Hey, uh, La Comida. All right. So, yeah, that's what's going on, you guys. That's the situation that's going on. Yeah, yeah. That's the situation that's going on right now. As this guy. All right, boy. My G. As this guy's come out, and he said this, uh, he was did a, he, he did an interview where he was asked to follow up on this stuff, and so that's what he did. You know what I mean? Um, he following up on this stuff. So I mean, this y'all gonna see a lot of stuff. Get out of here. Get 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 your ass out of here. Get back. Get back, nigga. All back. Yo, open that door right there. Open that door. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, you guys are just coming in. This guy went on Cam Capone's news channel right now. And he dropped a new interview. Basically, Cam Capone was asking this guy follow-up questions on allegations, uh, you know what I'm saying? He asked him follow-up questions on allegations. Uh, 
you know, from the past. And so this guy, basically, he is, uh, hold on. That's why I put it on the screen so y'all can check out that interview on the screen. I told you guys, people come out the woodworks now. And y'all going to start seeing this a lot where it's going to be a lot of interviews where people are going to be rehashing stuff, bringing stuff back up, and um, talking about this situation over again and asking people follow-up questions. Y'all going to see a lot of these type of interviews going on now. You know what I'm saying? Now that this situation with Diddy is on fire. And again, I, I told y'all, um, I don't know if y'all was listening or not. When I told y'all, I don't know if y'all was listening or not when I told y'all, but uh, I, um, I, uh, and I've said this plenty of times. I've said this stuff plenty of times. You know what I mean? I've said this stuff plenty of times on my channel that the, uh, these people are going to come out and you're going to hear a lot of different stories and people asking and trying to verify this and verify that. So, again, you guys let me know what y'all feel on this. The brother don't came out and said that he witnessed this stuff, man, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? He said Wale's team was lying when they denied that it happened. And he said it happened over Kathy. He said, did he went in a judge? He was said, did he? You know what I'm saying? While they told him that he didn't want him in there working with uh, Kathy, he, he gets jealous when somebody's working with Kathy. He said he still went in there and they gave him a drop. And, that, and he said he saw what he saw. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, uh, about, you know what I'm saying, just a lot of people coming out, uh, doing interviews and talking about these situations. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, subscribe, ring that bell as y'all come on in, man. And then y'all can go check out the interview over there. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the podcast show too. You understand what I'm saying? Link to the podcast show will be pinned at the top of the comments. We almost had 3,000 subscribers on the podcast show. Salute to all of y'all that's locked in. Y'all let me know what y'all feel on this, man. Let me know what y'all feel on this, man. But dude said he was there. He said, y'all go look at the interview right now. Just went off on Cam Capone channel. I holler.